Hello everyone, let's get right into it, adding a door contact onto your Optima Compact alarm system. Take off the lid of the Optima Compact, when you do this it will trigger a tamper alarm. Put in your code to cancel the tamper alarm. Remove the battery out of the way, because it just doesn't need to be there while you're doing the work. I hope you like my drawing by the way, it's uh, of a door. I absolutely ruin my back bedroom for these videos, so anyway, here's the door contact, pop it out. And have a look there's the reed switch on the bottom of it there you know which way round the cover is going now so you identify what corner you're going to cut out in order for the cable entry which is what i'm doing now just using a pair of snips once you've done that put that down and unscrew the silver screws on your door contact these are the alarm terminals then put that down well, we're going to get our cable ready. Now, you only need four cores here. You can cut the other cores back because you haven't really got much room in a door contact. So although usually I say wrap them round, it's okay to cut them away on a door contact if you've got four cores in total. Strip back the cables and then strip back the blue and yellow cable. This is what we're going to use for our alarm circuit. You might be using different colours, but the process is exactly the same. Then just twist the metal sheath. So that's nice and tidy and it's not fraying out at all. Now pick up your door contact and twist round the metal sheath round the silver screws that you have unscrewed. And once you've done that, tighten the screw down to clamp onto the metal sheath. Give it a bit of a tug just to make sure you've got a good connection in there. Do the same with the other side as well. So the blue and yellow are on the silver screws here. Now you've got your tamper, so just strip back the green and white on this door contact and twist them together. You're just going to put this under one of the brass coloured screws. So the process is going to be the same, but you're going to be unscrewing one of the brass coloured screws and twisting round that cable round the brass coloured screw. Work it in there with your terminal screwdriver if you have to and screw it up, make sure it's in there nice and tight. You've now actually wired your door contact, it's that simple. Pop your device back into its housing. Now, this is where you're gonna mount it to the frame. So the, the door is the door on this diagram and above it is the frame. Now, you'll see here, because the cable is an eight core, I'm struggling to actually get it into that gap, you know, that we made when we cut it out. So I'm just cutting out a little bit more. And even still, because it's an eight core, I'm struggling to get it into that gap. So it's okay to manipulate a little bit by manipulate the cable a little bit. Just get your screwdriver and just push it in with your Phillips just to make sure it's getting right deep in there and it's now able to fit flush on the wall. Once you've done that, you can screw your door contact to the door frame. This also could be a window contact, by the way. It's the same device, so you could use it for a door or a window. I suppose the actual correct term would be opening contact. That's what uh, I'm going to be using as a description on the Godfather security system. My own DIY security system. Shameless plug in there a little bit. I'll leave the link in the description. If you do want a new wireless alarm you can fit yourself. That is DIY and means you can take control of your own security. All on an app based system. It's great and it's going to be uh, an amazing addition to the DIY game. Okay, now get the magnet. Put that onto the door. You can have a gap between these two sensors of about an inch. You're going to be fine with that. And screw your magnet as if you were screwing to the door. So that when the door opens, the magnet moves away from the door contact and creates an open circuit. And when the door is closed, that magnet pulls down the reed switch and creates a closed circuit. This makes me think of Art Attack. Did you ever watch Art Attack on TV? Anyway. Your <laughs> Dan's just working away. So here's the cable back in the panel. You're going to get blue and yellow and you're going to put them into the zone. So in this case, we're using zone four and we screw them in into zone four. When we've done that, we've also got the tamper circuit so we can screw that into the tamper circuit. Now, if you've got nothing else in the tamper circuit, this will go in as I do here. If you have got other things, you need to add it in a daisy chain. I will add a video in the description of when I'm wiring a Veritas 8 alarm system and I do an in-depth demonstration on how to wire a daisy chain for a tamper. So it might be worth watching that if you've got other devices in the tamper circuit. 
Then pop in your backup battery, pop that into place, cancel any alarms you get on tamper alarms while you're doing this. Get your lid, pop it into place and close it up and screw up the lid. Once you've done that, press the X just to reset the panel. You're all done. It's that straightforward, that easy. There's the door contact. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.